A lot of people are dubious when they hear about short sales. Will a bank really lower the amount of money that they are owed just so that you can get out of your hard situation? I mean, isn't, aren't banks all about making a profit? Yes, they are. Why would a, a for-profit corporation knowingly take a loss on a loan that they made? It's important, it's important that we answer this question because you need to understand, anytime you're working with somebody, you need to understand the motivation of the party involved. It's extremely important to know that because otherwise you can't approach them properly. And there is several major reasons why banks will choose to do a short sale. Nearly every bank in the United States has a specific department for doing short sales, and that should show that they are motivated. One of the reasons that they're motivated is, is because of the nature of the way our banking system is set up. Um, when you're loaning money for a mortgage, you might think that a bank's loaning out uh, money on deposit in their, um, you know, in their, someone, you know, puts money in a savings account and that, that's being loaned to you. But actually, that's not the case. Typically, a bank's able to loan 10 times of what's deposited. They literally created out of thin air and it's delivered through the Federal Reserve Banking System and, and they're able to loan 10 times what's deposited in their own establishment to you for your mortgage. One of the problems though is, although they're allowed to do this crazy magic it, it, and really multiply money, when loans start going bad, suddenly they're in big, big trouble because they don't have the money to back all the loans that are going bad. They don't have the cash reserves. And so um, there's some banking regulations set up by the federal government that's, that, that, and I've heard different ways that they vary, but um, for most banks, they're required for every defaulted loan to have in reserves 10 times that amount. And it's, it has to do with the inverse multiplication of money. They were able to multiply money, money 10 times. Now that they've lost that amount of money and it's no longer an asset, suddenly they have to increase, you know, if it's a $100,000 loan, they're supposed to have a million dollars in the bank for that. And it suddenly becomes a major liability because now they can't loan 10 times. They're actually holding up $10 million um, because they can't loan those 10, 10 times that million dollars, that $100,000 loan. So they're losing, literally losing interest on $10 million when your $100,000 loan goes, goes, goes bad. Um, uh, why do banks do short sales? Well, another reason is because um, they save money that's, uh, because fees are, are, are accruing every day that a, short, that, a for, that a house comes closer and closer to foreclosure. Um, there's fees that they have to pay attorneys for foreclosure. There's fees that they have to pay the, the courthouse. There's taxes that accrue, and they're always owed, and they can't be foreclosed off. There's uh, future real estate commissions that they're, they're going to have to pay if they take the house back. There's legal fees, um, again, and, uh, and there's liability to them if someone gets hurt on the property, especially if it's in a bad area. There's vandalism, especially that happens in, in, as soon as the house becomes vacant. The, the house value can plummet. Even in a, in a decent or marginal area, um, a vacant house can get vandalized. These things really add up quickly. And so a bank knows that even if they have to take a, an offer that's below market value and still pay all their fees and get out of it and take a major loss now, it's, it's for sure going to be a lot less than if they have to wait months to get it back probably in a lot worse condition. It makes a lot of sense for them to do a short sale. There's a lot of motivation for them to do it. And I want you to remember this because there's, there's going to be a time when you're calling a lender and you're going to be like, what is happening here? I thought these banks wanted to do short sales and they're not even calling me back and they're, you know, they're giving me all this hard time. They are motivated, but they're also extremely behind. And so just remember, they, they really are motivated 
and um, out of compassion, continue to call them and, and, and make sure you help them save themselves some money. This is an example of, of the types of losses banks uh, typically uh, will have. I just heard a report regarding some subprime lenders that on average they recover 60% of the loan balance after costs went for closing, uh, which is a really low number. In Ohio here, I would guess that the average is much lower, especially in some of the, um, the marginal areas. Uh, it's not uncommon to see a house sell for 10 to 20% of what the loan was. And um, the net's even lower than that. 